So welcome to another piano thing and I'd like to um, offer this piece by this part of the piece um, the Pathetique Sonata Movement 1 by Beethoven which I think is one of his very best um, one of his very best um, sections uh, in all of his uh, 32 sonatas and uh, it's um, I haven't yet got it under my fingers, but I'll try to play what I can, have so far learnt slowly and then uh, gradually um, uh, get a bit faster. I haven't got a metronome, but anyway, um, so it's the part after the repeat of the main fast section. It's the, it's the next fast section. And I think it's the the most um, inventive, one of the most inventive things he's he's ever done. <clears throat> Up there with the Waldstein and uh, the final sonata and you know the first sonata, third sonata, all those greats and the seventh sonata and all of the great sonatas. Um, you know, their their best movements. I think this their best sections within. Um, a movement and this is another one I think so I'll try to play it and it's lovely to um, to to, uh, to learn and it's um, good if you can go it, make it link in a circular way so that you can carry on doing it which I'll try to do now so it contains some of the fir some of the major some of the main uh, um, part of the first movement, the main fast bit, without the hand crossing section. It's a bit difficult that and I wanted to present something which is really easy to do and yet which is um, a, a lot of fun and the, the hand crossing section and the bit where the hands move away from each other, I find that very difficult um, and it's not that easy. I mean it's not, I think it's a lot harder than, than the bits that I'm going to do now which link up to each other and they're great finger exercises as well um, so I'm gonna I might link it to a bit of the Moonlight Sonata third movement again so I've already done this video before but this time I'm, I'm adding the best bit as well I'll just play which bit I mean by the best bit just now So this is what I mean by the best bits.
and then I just go okay straight to the ending of the movement after that. Um, although it doesn't do that in the original in the uh, actual um, piece. So I, I'd now try to link it up with the Moonlight Sonata and the other fast section of the Pathetique and do it in such a way that it repeats. And it's great finger exercise, as, as I say. So I, I mucked that up slightly, but that was the best bit, in my opinion, of the whole Sonata, and one of the best bits in the whole of his, of his, uh, of his 32 Sonatas. So here's the whole thing.